The Walking Dead is an action-packed, tear-jerking, and all-around solid series with some great characters, and Ezekiel is one of them. The actor came forward and said he was unhappy with the character's journey through the show, and we wonder why. So stay tuned as we answer the burning questions you have and give you the reasons why Ezekiel called out Negan's treatment of women in the latest episode. Let's start off with what recently happened to Ezekiel. Ezekiel and some of the gang have been captured by Commonwealth. They've taken them to a labor camp where they can't use their real names to address each other. The warden is trying to use Negan to get information on the other members of their group, and for a moment we thought this would happen. Ezekiel is dragged out of bed, and Negan is brought out. He said he's the spy, at a shooting team is lined up to shoot him, but since there are no martyrs in this prison, the warden takes Negan's pregnant wife to the execution spot. Ezekiel sees the change and walks in front of Negan and his wife, with the rest of the members slowly joining in. The warden says he commends their heroics, but the soldiers should kill them all. Now luckily for the group, one soldier is reluctant, and he points the gun toward the warden. The warden grabs Kelly and points a gun at her, but we soon see Daryl appear behind him. Daryl stabs the warden, and this shows that even if he's Ezekiel had not forgiven Negan for his past actions. Negan has changed and redeemed himself. On to the next point. Why does Ezekiel harbor resentment towards Negan? Negan was the leader of a malicious group of people known as the Saviors. They killed many favorites like poor Adam, and let's not forget everyone's favorite, Glenn. Even after Negan's redemption arc, we still haven't forgotten him bashing in Glenn's skull. Ezekiel lost plenty of people as well, but the hardest death for him to accept was the death of Benjamin. Before he and Carol adopted Henry, who's also dead. Yeah, a lot of people are killed off in this series. He trained and raised Benjamin, who abruptly died in Season 7, Episode 13. After he was shot in the leg by Jared, Benjamin bled out, and since it was Negan's orders for the survivors to attack King Ezekiel's kingdom, he blames him for his death. The malicious intent Ezekiel has for Negan is reasonable, but Negan's character has come a long way since the days of Lucille and bashing in heads, although these actions will haunt the character forever. So, why did Ezekiel call out Negan's treatment of women. So much has changed since the beginning of the series. Andrew Lincoln's Rick is gone, Michonne left, and Carl is dead. It feels like an entirely different show, and a lot of viewers have forgotten how bad Negan actually was. The way he treated women was horrendous, and Ezekiel just reminded us, yes, you can redeem yourself, but this does not excuse your previous actions. The actor of Ezekiel, Kerry Payton, said, people just kind of forgot about it, but that's a big effing deal. And I think it's a big deal that Ezekiel said something something, because men need to speak up for women in these situations, because we all know women who have dealt with harassment, because every woman has. This is one very important statement, and only shows us how much Peyton actually cares. Yes, Negan is now one of the most beloved characters, but we can't forget the past, and some might never forgive him. While we haven't seen Ezekiel and Negan converse in the past few seasons, it was good to see them set aside their differences to find a means to escape the camp, even if it meant that Ezekiel had to remind Negan of his actions. But the father comment was a bit harsh. We don't know if Negan and Ezekiel will ever make peace, but after the martyrdom Negan was willing to go through, something might change. But no, they won't be running through daisies together. As a bonus, is Ezekiel cancerless now, and what does this mean for his future? After the shocking news that Ezekiel has cancer in Season 10, we all wondered if he was in the clear. The answer is yes. After all, after he was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, we thought, yep, here's Ezekiel's end. He even thought he was going to die. Carol, being the hero she always is, pulled a few strings in Commonwealth and got Ezekiel to the top of the patient list. Here, Tommy, who is Yumiko's brother and also a great doctor, took out his cancer. This does not mean that Ezekiel is immune to death, as it is The Walking Dead after all. With the departure of Rick, the series won't end like the comics, and the possibility for Ezekiel to die much like Rick is quite high. With a few similarities between the characters, like Rick, who also wanted to better the Commonwealth in the comics, before he was killed by Sebastian. Luckily, Sebastian is already dead, so that rules out one possible gruesome and painful death to Ezekiel. But each season needs a heart-wrenching episode, and with the end closing in, a great replacement death would be Ezekiel. Now, why isn't Carrie Payton happy with the progression of Ezekiel? Before the apocalypse happened, Ezekiel was a zookeeper. P.S. We miss you, Shiva. He lived a peaceful life until the end of the world. Now the character went through a lot, but recently Payton came forward and said that he's quite unhappy with the journey that Ezekiel has gone through. He says that there are many areas that he wishes they could explore, but he understands as there are only so many episodes in the series, and with a story 
that revolves around so many different characters, he can see why Ezekiel didn't get more screen time. He also says that he's really saddened to say goodbye to Ezekiel, and he hopes to see a spinoff show where they tell the story of how Ezekiel became king, or something like that. Ezekiel is a character close to all of our hearts, and if we don't see him in some sort of sequel or prequel to the show, it will be a great loss to the fans. By the way, as a little side note, we have an upcoming series with star actress Lauren Cohen, who plays Maggie, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan's Negan. The series, called The Walking Dead, Dead City, is set in New York City and is set to release somewhere in April 2023. If Ezekiel survives the final episodes, we might see him in the upcoming series. With Negan already proving that he has bettered himself, we hope that he can prove to Ezekiel that he's going to be a great father figure he says he'll be, and that Ezekiel might forgive him for his past actions. But only time will tell if these two men can make amends and find peace. Or if they even make it that far. If we know anything from The Walking Dead, Negan just might die in the pilot episode of the upcoming show. So, will Ezekiel and Carol ever rekindle their love? After the death of Henry and the split between Carol and Ezekiel, no. The chances are low that Carol and Ezekiel will ever end up together again. The showrunner Angela Kang said that the sad reality of couples who lose a child is that it often breaks up the marriage. Whether it's because the death itself is the thing that causes the problem, or it just reveals the cracks that were always there, whatever it is. Or the grief is so much, and people can't connect in their grief. This is the sad truth, but the love between them will always be there, even if we don't expect to see them living happily ever after. Unlike Ezekiel and Negan, who we'll see running hand in hand through the daisies, wink wink, to end things off, will we see Ezekiel in his own show? Well, not in his own show. A few great faces will join The Walking Dead, Dead City, like Daryl Dixon, Maggie and Negan, with a few others like Connie and Carol perhaps, but the chances of Ezekiel to get his own show is quite slim. Ezekiel is a great character, yes, but I'd much rather watch a Daryl Dixon show than a show revolving around Ezekiel, unless it's set in the past before the group met up and the conflict between Negan and Ezekiel is as tense as it was, the series won't be a hit for many. Now Python's wishes can come true. With the limited series Tales of the Walking Dead, each episode is its own story and it will depict different characters like the leader of the Whisperers and how their story started. This is a great place to add Ezekiel and to show us the history of the character. And with Python ready to jump into character, we hope to see his own little episode in the anthology series. This is all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment and tell us your stories on the Negan and Ezekiel drama and if you'd like to see an Ezekiel spinoff. Until next time, see ya!